Yeah, it's yeah. been a month. This is, I, I got to say, Rosemary, at first I was skeptical. I was like, life coach, that just means she doesn't want to do a real job. But this turned out to be, <laughs> at least she has a sense of humor. This is probably the hardest <laughs> job she's ever had dealing with Mr. Meyer. I got to say, I think I'm cured because you have given, I'm just going to go over some of the things that you told me to do. Like when I quit smoking for the longest time, which was almost a year, it was because I was just chewing the Nicaragua gum every day. And one of your best suggestions was alternate with like a non-medicating gum. That, that was like awesome. Good, like, good. Um, writing the list of things that annoyed me while I got writer's cramp doing that, you know, I kind of recognized you know, the, the the triggers that make me want to smoke. Now, the creepy thing about this list is he it's in his basement. <laughs> he won't tell me what's on it. Okay. I don't know if it's a hate list or I don't know what's going on. Is it the people I'd like to kill list? No, well, Dave, first of all, you know that, you know, I had, I had that list of things that annoy me, but I also have an enemy's list. You had, he has, he has, this well, is I real. Think, he I has think a... It might be okay. He's not cutting out little pictures and putting next to it or anything. I, I don't know, but he has a running list of enemies that he makes up in his head that they didn't even, <laughs> they didn't even know they're on the list. <laughs> he'll get mad. We'll be talking and he'll get mad. We'll do a break. Well, we'll go to commercial, and I'll see him writing, like, all angry. Oh, Glenn, what are you writing? I'm adding to my enemies list. <laughs> do, these people, do these people even know they're on the list? No, they don't. <laughs> oh, and another key thing, Rosemary, was being able to call you. It's almost like um, AA, where, you know, I, I've called you and, and complained, and, and, and that's been a big help, too. Okay. He's called you and complained? Yes, he has. Really? You know, yeah, yeah, so it's, you know, it's like you have that, it's like the bat phone. But it's the Rose phone. It, it's, it's probably only called her a couple times, but it, you know. And this is the email. You've emailed me Yes, too. emails, plenty of emails. You know what's been very popular on this show? It's been an ongoing uh, a joke between 6 and 6.30 is Glenn's balls. No, we won't discuss them. Because the only thing you did bad was give me those haunted well, balls. Well, I told you to give them back. They're in the other room. We're afraid to go in there and touch them. Well, the They're like the Brady there Bunch. Now. They're like the Brady Bunch tiki thing. We, yeah. can't, we can't bring... <laughs> I, I kid you not, Rosemary, those balls are haunted. They bring ill. They bring ill to the radio station. And you know, my big epiphany was the other day. I don't know if you were listening. I talked about this at 6 o'clock. I, I needed some computer time. So I let my daughter hang out in the living room doing her thing. And 20 minutes after getting off the computer, there was a trail of her hair down the hallway. Turns out she had a pair of scissors and gave herself a mullet. And... and um, <laughs> And I didn't smoke. And my wife was like on the train, so I couldn't even call her to say, oh, when you come home, Chelsea has a mullet. We got to bring her to a hairdresser. <laughs> this is huge for Glenn. Because That's, that is big. Glenn could stub his toe and use that as an excuse to buy a carton of cigarettes. I, I believe you. I've been listening to you guys for eight years now, so I, I know. That's, that's very big. Watch it, Dave. You're close to the enemies list. Uh, <laughs> I've been on that thing 20 times already. So as long as I can, like, keep calling you, I, I think that, you know, I, I, I think I can, you know, do this. And, um, you know, there, there was one other thing. You said that, you know, we were going to enter a relationship. Right. Oh, my God. Well, you'd have to do something more than call me, Glenn. Sounds like a proposition to me. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> what does Glenn have to do? Yeah, so, I mean, you know, you know what I'm saying? You need to put some action behind your words, like you're doing with the smoking. So I, 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 you know, I know you long enough to know that that's just not going to happen. Not to mention she's married. Yeah. And so are you. All right. Guess what? <laughs> you were on the enemies list. <laughs> Again. I guess I'm getting on there now, too. No. Okay. Not until it's sure we're not doing the boogie. <laughs> but, Rosemary, thank you. Uh, I'm going to keep in touch with you. Well, thank you. Uh, until you sleep with me. And, uh, <laughs> That's it. Well, you've seen the results, so I think we should we should plug Rosemary's website. Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, I'm joking around here, but when when my daughter gave herself a mullet and I didn't smoke, I knew I was like, wow, this this Rosemary knows what she's talking about. Well, it's attitudeslifecoaching.com, and by the way, I did find a clip from the Brady Bunch, and I put that on there for you. <laughs> <laughs> With the with the tiki? tiki? Yes. So I, it's look, on I don't you take. Take those haunted balls the hell out of here, and, and really, don't give them to anybody else. I won't. Do you I'll have take any, your balls and toss them. <laughs> Do you have any more advice for Glenn as he moves forward? 
No, just if you have any more problems, whenever you need. The thing is, is when you hit a trigger that you're going to smoke, give me a call or call Dave. No, don't call me. No, <laughs> no, 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 Dave, he no. calls me enough. Dave, just I heard don't that, go to Paul's house. Dave, I heard that someone said that I, I, I wore brown shoes today. Does that mean I'm getting fired? Those are the phone <laughs> calls that I get at all hours of the night. So please, just call Rosemary, okay? And I guess this. Thank you so Thank much. You Thank much, you, guys. Rose. It's been a good time. All right, 614.